So if you have a table of data in Google Sheets and you want to sort it based on some attribute from ascending to descending order or vice versa, there's a few different ways we can do it. One is to use the sort function and another one is to use the filter function. I'll go over both examples in this video. So the first one that we can use is sort. Basically, you can either select all of the data, including the headers or not. It's up to you. If you don't include the headers, just right click and just come in here and click on sort range. Here, you notice that it uh, has an option here to say data has header row. Because we didn't select the headers, then don't click this. But basically, we can choose which column to sort by. So right now, it's already sorted in chronological order for date, but let's pick something else. Um, let's pick the, the numbers that were in column C, and we'll go from smaller to bigger number. So there we go. It's going to be ascending as we go down. Um, you can sort also by including the headers, so we'll make sure we select them this time. Right-click, sort range, and we're going to mention that this does have a header row now, and it's going to recognize here that we have date, price, and item, because it's going to read those headers. So let's sort based on the item name, and we'll go from Z to A, so this will be in like decreasing alphabetical order. So this will either be in number or letter form. And when we hit sort, we're going to notice here that basically we have reverse alphabetical order S, you know, we're going from Z to A as we go down. Now, another way that's usually actually even easier to do this, so it depends really on the, the structure of the table that you have, but basically click somewhere inside of your table. If you have big gaps and things, this doesn't work as well. And you can either go to data and press create a filter, or what you can do is once you're selected somewhere in here, you can also click this little button up here, which is kind of the shortcut to create a filter. And you're going to notice that even if you click away, we still have this little green box around it, and we have these little filter lines. So here, you can sort pretty rapidly based on the headers, so like in chronological order or reverse, um, and same with basically any of these categories. And it's pretty rapid, so if you have like a big table uh, with lots of different attributes, this is a really fast way to sort and kind of group them together based on, you know, ascending or descending order. You'll notice in here as well that there's lots of other things in here. You can filter by color and sort by color and stuff like that too. But just for the basics of sorting by alphabetical or ascending order, um, yeah, you can use sort or you can use filter to do that.